Yo guys, what's good? Sticks and your boy from Intuitive Designs. Today I'm going to show you how I do my secret halftone effect in Photoshop and then later turn it into a shirt design. There is no additional plugin needed, so you have Photoshop, you're good to go. I'll be using this image I found on Unsplash, but this effect works with any image or even logo that you use. Let's go. Right, so first I'm going to unlock the layer and then turn it into smart object. The effect will all be applied in the filter gallery, which is what's so great about this effect is it's live and you can just drag and drop them to another image without redoing all the steps. I've renamed the layer to half tone just for reference. Then I'm going to go to filter, filter gallery, and these are the filters that will apply. But let me get rid of them and start from zero to show you guys how it's done. Now the first filter is the radicalization filter. It's under the sketch folder and as you can see, it turns the image into black and white and also adds a bit of texture to the image, making it almost look like it's painted. Now we're gonna set the foreground level to 15 and the background level to 20. After that, we'll add the second filter. Just click on this button. For this one, we'll select the halftone pattern filter. I'm going to set the size to 10 and the contrast to 40. Now you can already see it's taking form. You can also set the pattern type to circle for that rippled echo look or set it in line for that Blade Runner CRT look. This one's my favorite, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to set it back to dot for that signature halftone look. Third filter will be grain. It's under the texture folder. We're gonna set the grain type to clumped, set the intensity to 40, and then the contrast to 50. If I zoom in, this adds a cool texture to the image rather than just solid black and white. It will also smooth out the harsh jagged halftone look when we add the final filter. Before I continue, a quick word from today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who's looking to learn a new skill or refine an existing skill set. Earlier this year, I set out a new goal to improve my productivity and time management as a creator. So lately, I've been taking the Productivity for Creators course by Ali Abdal. In it, he goes through strategies on how to manage my time, attention, and ideas. So as a content creator, this has helped me tremendously in understanding how to be efficient and effective with my time, as well as how to stay motivated in the long term. Skillshare has classes on a wide range of topics, including photography, graphic design, illustration, and even business. And the best part is there are no ads on the platform, so you can solely focus on learning. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare membership. The last filter is the stamp filter. It is also under the sketch folder. And we're gonna leave the light dark balance 25 and the smoothness to five. And that is all the filters used for my halftone effect. If I turn off the regulation filter, it brings back a lot of the details from the image but making it look way too basic, like a common halftone effect. Personally, I am not a fan of this because it's very obvious that it's photo based, which kind of waters down the design aesthetic when we turn it into a shirt design later. But other than that, you can always play with settings to fine tune it to your own style, especially the grain filter. Um, the look shifts tremendously when you change the settings there. Okay guys, now we're gonna turn this into a shirt design. I'm gonna create something very basic for the sake of this tutorial, but if you spend more time to work on your own design, you will definitely get a better result than mine. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the black background by using the color range tool. Uh, first, select the marquee tool and then go to select color range, select shadows in the drop down menu, bring the fuzziness to zero and then the range to 40, hit okay. Then right click on the image and select inverse. Then just command C and command V to copy and paste the image to a new layer. It is now separated from the black background. 
So now comes the fun part, guys. I'm gonna add this into the working file, which is sized A2. Uh, let's convert the layer to smart object when we scale down, and then start adding color by using the color overlay. You can now choose your own color choice. After that, we can start adding some text. I've decided to go with the Marlboro font. That's probably not its real name. I just got this from the font, I think. But yeah, it works especially when I'm going for that root design aesthetic. By the way, guys, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to create designs like root, drop a comment below and let's see if I can make it happen. But yeah, I dragged it horizontally, making it taller and then turn the layer into shapes. Um, got rid of the fill and then just leave the outline and then set the color to this mustard yellow. After that, add a subtext below. Final step is copy the base image and then clip it to the font layer. I really like the overlaid look, so we'll add a mask layer and then brush out the parts we don't want to achieve the effect. That is all for today guys, hope you find this tutorial useful. If you want to learn more, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my weekly uploads. Follow me on all social medias for more content. See ya.